The standoff at an Aboriginal campsite in Perth is over, at least for now. Police made several arrests as they moved in yesterday on Aboriginal activists who'd been camping on Harrison Island in the Swan River for weeks. Police have already tried to remove campers from Harrison Island twice. They're hoping this time it's for good. For weeks, the island has been home to dozens of Aboriginal activists angry about a proposed native title deal. This is our sanctuary where you have no jurisdiction whatsoever. After police in the city of Perth spent the week arguing over who had the power to remove the activists, it came to a standoff between police and the protesters, as officers enforced a council bylaw preventing camping on the island. We'll doesn't matter, that, that doesn't matter. We'll, 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 we'll still be back. The campers put up a brief fight, but the weight of police numbers soon had them on the run. The protesters have now moved away and City of Perth staff under police guard will be cleaning up what's left of the tent embassy throughout most of the afternoon. But even as that began, the protest turned ugly on the other side of the island, nearly one kilometre away. Four people have been arrested over offences ranging from disorderly conduct to obstructing a public officer. We were hoping they didn't come to this, we were hoping that people would have their say. Uh, make their point and then move on. Uh, we regret that it's come to this. We've got much more important things to be doing. The protesters say they'll be back. The police say they'll be ready. Officers are expected to maintain a presence at the island for the next few days, with a water skiing competition due to be held nearby on Friday night. Jake Sturmer, ABC News.